when the year began we all had plans for it right so i'm sure most of you had plans to maybe uh, some of you to build a home uh, just to get a home for yourself maybe to get a car maybe to maybe by the grace of god you know finish schooling not as in finish schooling completely but you know to get somewhere in your educational life and well some others also wanted to get married yeah you heard me others wanted to get married Hi everyone, I'm your instructor Benjamin and I humbly welcome you to another exciting video tutorial lessons with Labrin Solutions. So in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through a step-by-step -step process with no steps skipped on how to design this amazing wedding invitation card. But before I kick start with this video, I would like you to perform a short exercise for me. Kindly pause with whatever you're doing now. And hit on the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on the notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. If, uh, if you are out here and you love what I do, please do well to give this video a like. By doing that, it tells the algorithm to push this video to a lot of newbies who haven't seen it yet. And when that happens, we all benefit from it. So, without any further ado, why don't you come along with me into the world of Photoshop and let's start making beautiful design works. Welcome back. Now, in front of you are the resource files that I'm using for the design. Actually, I'm not going to be using everything. I have some here in Illustrator that I'll be using over here. So uh, I will just be picking them one after the other. The ones I will, I'm, I'll be using this basically for the border. Borders, yeah, borders over there. Yeah. All right. So let's jump into Photoshop. And what we do is to first of all create our working canvas. So uh, in here, I'm just going to name this Then I'm going to be turning this into inches. Then I'm going to be making here five inches by seven. And I think everything looks fine over here for me. So I'm just going to hit on create. So first of all in here, what we need to do is to what identify our color. So I'm going to come up here and click on the create new fill. Then I'm going to be choosing solid fill. Then in here, well, I think, I think this looks okay. Uh, I'm, I, I think I would go with this. Let me see something. Alright, so I think I'll go with this color. Alright, so I think I'll go with this. Maybe in the course of the process. Hey, in the course of the process. What kind of English am I speaking? Hey! Sorry, guys. So, in the process of designing this, maybe if any new color comes of mine, we just, you know, get to use it. All right, so secondly, let me head on to here and you know pick this and place my guy over here. All right, this is my guy. Let's hold and drag. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is to you know I'm going to add the gradient uh, to it, but uh, I need to you know. Uh, extend this a bit so with the five I'm gonna make it six so let's go to image canvas size you know and let's change this to six and I think this is okay then I'm going to you know drag this over here and let's add the gradient to it so let's come to uh, adjustment so let's say gradient and I'll be adding a gold golden or let me say gold golden gold Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. So that wasn't it. Um, let's cancel this. 
so let's right click this and choose blending option and let's add a gradient overlay that was what I was supposed to do not the old process a gradient overlay of gold well, I guess this looks nice so let's click on OK and I'm just I'm going to duplicate this so control J control T right click and let's flip this vertical so I'm just going to drag this you know to the button yeah, and let's hit OK so that is it for this and um, let me work on the gradient part of it Alright, so that is it for this one and the next thing is to you uh, come in for this guy and uh, I would be applying the same gradient style so let's copy layer style and let's paste that of the layer style here So we have this looking nice and I'm going to uh, duplicate this guy control J you know and I'm going to be placing so control T and let's rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise so I'm going to be placing this guy over here this way but before I think this guy is too big so I'm not the size is, too, uh, is a bit large, so I'm going to just you know reduce the size to something small this way. Then I'm going to be drawing with my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a shape like this, you know, a shape like this. Yeah, a shape like this, and um, with a fill color the same as that of what we have in here all right so now what i'm going to be doing next is to bring in this uh file where i can you know clip mask it on top of the shape right good so let's right click on this and let's click on create clipping mask Right, so we can actually reduce the size of this and drag it up a bit so this way looks nice so let me let me shift actually shift this guy in here this way or oh, should be here this way Alright, so I'm going. I'm just going to duplicate Control J and uh, clip mask the same guys over here. Let's say click, create clipping mask. Then I'm going to drag. Alright, so that is it for the this part. So what I'm going to do is to now select the first layer and select that of the last layer and. Uh, group them all together so we have this nicely looking so one other importation as an import then we are done for that of the importing is to bring in the background so, so i'm going to right click this this way and you know i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise and uh, increase the size all right so with this let's see if a uh, blending option will help screen no okay so i think multiply does it but I need to make it big, you know. Yeah. So this way. <laughs> then I'm going to create add a vector max to this with my brush to make it big enough to just do away with the middle part, just something like this, you know. Right. 
something something like this but it looks very okay then i'm going to you know be typing the name of the um couple but before let me duplicate this guy over here control j and so let's now begin with the name of the couple Right, so now that we have the names written, the next thing is to, you know, type in uh, the other things that is needed for the wedding invitation. So something like uh, the families of George and Frida humbly invites you to witness the holy matrimony or to witness the solemnization of holy matrimony on this, this, you know, blah, 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 and the rest. Okay. So... I'm going to be doing the typing and uh, I'm, I'll be fast forwarding this portion so uh, so as to save a bit of time and I'll be back soon all right guys so welcome back from that short break and uh, as you can see I've done the typing for the date time and the venue so finally what I will be typing is it has to do with the um, RSV or maybe a Bible quotation or something, you know, but I think RSV is, you know, yeah, something that is okay. So let me turn the RSVP to go. Let me I add this layer style to this one as well. And I think this looks amazing. And this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. But before I end, uh, you realize that with the background, the flower at the background doesn't look uh it's too fade out so let me duplicate it so that we see it different so something like this is perfect so what i'm going to do is um now with this design the, if the color doesn't tally with what you want we can as well change the color uh and see which one works best so let's double tap this and let's choose a color that we think uh works nicely on that so sorry about that all right so i think this dark blue works amazing amazing in here so i'm going to just you know take off one of the and i think one works best then we are going to change this color to that of what we have here so it blends well with this color all right so we've changed the color from that color to this color and i think this looks amazing as compared to the first color that we had and guys this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you've learned something in here if you did please do want to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to check my other videos as well if you have any thoughts any feedback any ideas let me know by writing them in the comment box below and i'll be glad to read them and also to give you a feedback on them until i come your way next time let's talk blabber and solutions and i'm out